We move next here tonight to our cover story and the Largo family who purchased a puppy they thought was in perfect health. Then came the coughing, then came the blood. And now that family is stuck with thousands of dollars in vet bills. And tonight, Taking Action reporter Jackie Calloway shares their story and the warning for anyone purchasing a pet. <laughs> My son had been begging for a pet. I wanted any pet. Like, I didn't care. Like, I just really wanted a pet. On April 10th, Sabrina Trope purchased Theo from Petland Largo as an Easter present for her son, Nova. I was super happy. I was like, this is way better than an Easter egg hunt. But within hours, the corgi pup got sick. Oh, I really saw the blood for the first time that, that day. Take a listen to the heart. The next day, Sabrina took Theo to Petland's vet for bloody stools and coughing. And then I noticed a, a coughing like gag type of thing. Indian Rocks Beach Animal Hospital sent Theo home with meds. The cough, um, you know, it kind of stayed the same for a little while. And when Sabrina took the pup in for vaccinations 10 days later, the vet visit paperwork doesn't mention a cough or bloody stool and lists Theo's physical exam as normal. But on April 30th, 20 days after Sabrina left Petland with Theo, she found him struggling to breathe. He was neck stretching because he couldn't breathe. Um, his eyes were rolling in the back of his head. The family rushed the puppy to Blue Pearl Animal Hospital. Theo went into ICU where he was placed in an oxygen chamber and treated for possible pneumonia. It was very scary. I thought he was going to die. The vet visit cost Sabrina nearly $2,500. Records from Blue Pearl noted that over the last week, Theo has been dealing with kennel cough. So she filed a claim for all vet costs under Petland's 14 day warranty. I heard back immediately from them after I filed that claim. Petland offered Sabrina $158.99 for her vet visits on April 11th and the 21st, but nothing for the Blue Pearl bill. I reached out to the company's corporate office. A spokesperson responded in an email. Petland is honoring Ms. Trope's warranty and has offered reimbursements. But by the time Theo was treated on April 30th, the company said the invoice was out of the warranty period. He is so loved. Spoiled right. Oh, let him go. As you can see, Theo is doing much better, but Sabrina has refused Petland's offer and said she intends to file a pet lemon law claim with state regulators. That law covers consumers who report a pet's contagious disease within 14 days of purchase. I'm Jackie Calloway taking action for you.